Hey guys, Nero from UK Mobile Review here, <coughs> bringing you a look at how to input text on the Samsung Galaxy S3. You've got several methods, but one of the things you can do is use the trace keyboard, which is if you want to type in letters without having to physically type into each individual letters, the continuous input allows you to implement swipe-like functionality on your Galaxy S3. First, here's how to install it. You go to the settings menu, then you go to continuous input and just tick it on. Press the back key, and now you can type in As you can see, it's really easy to use. Really simple. It recognises most words, but even if you doesn't recognise one, you just type it in the first time, and then it should pick it up again. As you can see, it's that simple. The t continuous trace input. The continuous input works in and doesn't work everywhere on the OS. It works in most applications, such as in the mail, text messaging, email. But it doesn't work in the internet browser. That's one of the methods you can use. You can also turn off predictive text completely. Switch it to off. It does mean that you can't use the trace input anymore, but it then means you can just type in normally. which is really easy as well, as you can see. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I much prefer the continuous trace input myself. One of the last methods to show you, which will work better with the Samsung C Pen, is the handwriting. which if we go back to here, go to the thing here, select that and now you just type in, that's obviously wrong, again doesn't work too well if you're using your hand but it should be fine with a stylus or C pen which is Samsung's version of the S pen but dedicated to the Samsung Galaxy S3 and that's how you type input on the Samsung Galaxy S3